Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. Please hit that subscribe button. We do all sorts on this channel and videos are every single Wednesday and Sunday. So today we're gonna to be looking at brushes. We're gonna be talking makeup brushes, brushes that I'd recommend, brushes that I use every day and that I can't live without. Brushes can range from being cheap to expensive. So I thought it was a really good idea and it was also requested to just go through brushes I would really recommend. The first brand that I'm gonna talk about is Real Techniques. Real Techniques brushes I think are really, really good. There are some that I haven't tried, some that I have tried that I think actually, you know, they're okay, they're pretty average. There are brushes that I have from Real Techniques I use every single day and I couldn't live without. So let's just jump straight in. The first thing I wanna talk about are the Real Techniques sponges. Now these are called the Miracle Complexion sponges. They range from sort of like 3 dollars to 7 dollars depending if they're on offer and you can get them from Boots or Superdrug. These are incredible, they've changed my life. So this is the foundation one. You can currently get this in turquoise, which is limited edition, so I did. I saw this and I was like, yes. They are super soft and the reason why I love these is because they have this angle tip here and also this typical beauty blender tip here and they're just fantastic. I just find them great because you can pat your foundation on with this side, you can get into those little spots with this side and they're just amazing. They last a really long time and they clean up really well. And then you've also got the powdered version. Now, this is a sort of velvety texture. It's almost got very, very small, like fluffy hairs on. And this is amazing for translucent powder, loose powder. Just again, really getting it into the right areas. And it really helps to just blend the product in, in the most like amazing way. So you probably would have seen me use this already if you are existing to my channel. But again, same sort of shape, and these are just amazing. If you have a look, because sometimes these are on offer. What you'll find with a lot of the Real Techniques brushes, they, they seem to always be on offer. They're always on like a three for two or a certain discount. You can also get some of these in TK Maxx, which I'll talk to you a little bit about in a second, but TK Maxx seem to sell some of the older ones or perhaps like the discontinued ones for so cheap. So one of my absolute favorite contour brushes, this is the Real Techniques, and this is the contour brush, <laughs> as you'd expect. This is incredible. It's really dense and a really small sort of circular brush, but it's just amazing for really getting in underneath those cheekbones, for getting in under the chin. I have religiously used this for years. This is one of my all time favorite brushes and it just blends out your contour so easily so you don't even need to you know worry too much about it being blended or those lines being blended i have tried so many contour brushes this is definitely one that i tend to go back to the most and then this one here is the real techniques rebel edge medium brush and this is a really strange shape i remember when i first brought this i was a little bit like this is odd i don't even know what i'm going to use this for but it's again an amazing contour brush just because of the shape again it's quite a dense brush i tend to just sort of do this motion stroking down motion and then you can sort of also circular just to blend and again because of the shape it's fantastic for getting underneath that jawline so these two together are like my contour combo then i also have two of these real technique brushes now these i got from tk maxx and it's funny because I remember seeing these in boots quite a while ago and they were really expensive. They were like 30 pounds each. And I was like, I just can't justify paying that for one brush. So I waited and then literally found them in TK Maxx for five pounds each. Complete bargain, this is what I mean. So before you are gonna go ahead and place an order. I know obviously it's a little bit hard now because we are obviously in this lockdown period, but I would always recommend just having a look going into TK Maxx. I haven't found any on their website, but if you go in, you will always find some Real Techniques brushes. So this one is the B03. I don't actually know what this collection is, but I will find out and I will leave a link below. But this I use for a foundation brush. It's a very, very, very thick, dense foundation brush. But again, it's absolutely amazing for blending. And because of the shape of the brush, it's really easy to get a good grip and to really get into all of those areas. And then my beloved powder brush. I absolutely love this brush. I feel like this is the perfect powder brush. This is the B01. And the reason I love this is because it's tapered, but as you can see, it sort of fluffs out at the top. 
And again, it's dense, but it's not too dense to the point where you're gonna be putting your powder on and all your makeup's coming off. So again, really, really amazing, amazing powder brush. Just really gets all the product in and also makes blending so much easier. So then I have two BH Cosmetics brushes. Now I did actually go ahead and purchase a BH Cosmetics set. I got it from Boots. But to be completely honest, I do use a couple of the brushes, but not all of them. You know, when you buy like a makeup brush set, nine times out of 10, there are your key brushes that you absolutely love. And then there's some that you just don't have any use for. So I don't know if you can buy these brushes individually. Again, I'll have a look. And if you can, I will link them below. The first one is the BH Cosmetics 123 brush. And this is basically like a flat kabuki brush. It's absolutely amazing for really blending in that foundation. Again, a really thick, dense brush. I do only use this for foundation, but it's like my go-to foundation brush just because of how easy it blends everything in. And then the next one is the 140. And this is just a very thin sort of, I don't even know, like really fluffy, thin brush, but this is incredible for applying highlighter. So if you really wanna get highlighter in like specific areas, but you don't want it to be really cakey, this is fantastic just because of the shape. It's very tapered. So now I have my random brushes. So staying on the sort of kabuki theme, my e.l.f. stippling brush. Now I've had this for years. I think so many people have got this brush or at least tried it. And again, it's all, my all time favorite. Again, it's really dirty. So I didn't want to clean them because I wanted to show you that I do actually use these brushes. But again, love this for applying liquid foundation. I wouldn't say that this blends everything in amazing. What I tend to do is apply it with this brush and blend it as much as I can. And then go in with my beauty blender and just go ahead and go over the top. But this is fantastic for making sure you get a lot of product in the right places. And it also helps because it's not too dense. As you can see, the density is actually in the middle. It applies the product without using up loads of product. Unfortunately with brushes and especially with like foundation brushes, nine times out of 10 when you're applying foundation, the brush tends to eat 50% of the product. So this is a really good brush for making sure you don't use up a lot of product. So now I wanna talk about a website called Crown Brushes. Now I tried this website out probably about three years ago. It's quite a long time now. And I got some amazing brushes from there and they were so inexpensive. So I really wanna recommend the website to you guys and just show you some of my favorites. So I actually did go on this website mainly for eye brushes, but you can also get you know, face brushes as well. The first one is the C138. This is the round contour brush. And this is just a really small, tiny, dense brush. You can see how small it is. This is absolutely amazing for really getting into the creases, also doing like a winged eyeliner with an eyeshadow. It's a really fantastic dense brush for really packing on the product. Then I've got the pointed blender brush. Again, it's still quite a dense brush, but amazing for doing a smoky eye or any eyeshadow look, to be honest. And I really, really love this. As I say, I've had these for years. I use them all the time. They wash up really nicely. The quality of these brushes for the price is fantastic. And then finally, a brush that I really could not live without. This is, I don't even know what this is called. I've used it so much, it's come off. But again, I will link it below. So it's a really small, flat, thin, tapered sort of brush. This is amazing for doing smoky eyes. So I always use this for my lower lash line to really smoke the color out. I also use this today, so you can see I've got like this little sort of smoked wing. That was just by using this with a black eyeshadow. It's incredible, it's such a good brush. It just blends your eyeshadow out so nicely. Really gives you that smoky look without having to put in you know, a ton of effort. And again, this is just a brush that I will always, always, always keep. So I just quickly wanna talk about Primark brushes. Now Primark recently released a lot of new brushes and to be honest, they were pretty amazing. I got most of them and they, they're pretty good. But there's two that absolutely stand out for me. So the first one I use all the time and I'm always getting questions where this brush is from. It's from Primark and I think it was about three pounds. This is the Tapered Blush Brush in 116. And it's amazing. You could use this for numerous things. You could use it for powder. I use this for bronzer. And the reason why I love this is because again, it's quite a nice fluffy soft brush and it's got that density there, but not too much. 
So this applies the right amount of product and again it's amazing for really getting in and blending and I just find when I use this my makeup looks really smooth, I don't have any funny lines and yeah I just absolutely love this brush, I'm so glad that I found it. So the eyeshadow brushes are really good, so if you're looking for really inexpensive eyeshadow brushes, Primark, they've, they've really stepped their game up. So this is the Eye and Crease Contour Brush, and this is fantastic. It's really good at blending color, but again, it's a really good size. It's not too small, it's not too big. So if you just wanna get in and apply an initial color or use this for blending, it's really good. And again, really inexpensive. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any brushes that you're absolutely obsessed with. I would love to know if there's any new ones. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.